Yo guys, what is going on? It is Invin here, and today what I'm bringing to you guys is, of course, the weekly update for New World, which is going to be version 1.4.2. But of course, this time we have the exciting news which I covered yesterday, which is, of course, this Easter event here in Eternum. Now, as you can see from the picture, it is not as pleasant as it sounds. They have got corrupted rabbits going around the place. And essentially, with this weekly update, once the downtime has been completed, this will be in full fruition in the game. So I am going to go briefly over the details of that again. But if you're watching this video before it's gone to downtime, we're still waiting for it to come up, even though it said April 12th. For others in the EU, it's probably going to be more like April 13th. And, of course, if you're watching it after this downtime has been completed, then this event will already be live across your servers, so feel free to dive in and give it a go. So, of course, it says here, New World Update 1.4.2 downtime will begin at 11pm PT or 6am UTC on April 12th. So, therefore, you know, it should be in a few hours' time from uploading of this video. And it says, Greetings, adventurers. This week's update includes a variety of world experience updates and bug fixes, including the Rabbit's Revenge mini-event. World experience changes, so of course this is the actual event itself. This is where corruption has possessed rabbits all over Eternum. For a planned duration of two weeks, players can hunt them down for special rewards, such as the Defiled Rabbit's Foot, an enchanted consumable that grants players extra luck for 40 minutes when used. The strength of its effect scales with the player's level, and players can collect up to 5 per day, which is pretty good, so quite a lot of luck bonus there. Diamond Gypsum, which can be used to increase expertise for a type of gear of the player's choosing. So again, a Gypsum Orb it can craft, and players can collect up to three per day. So again, this is in place of your hidden stashes currently. You'll need to do this event in order to get your Diamond Gypsum, so it's the event version, so that's pretty cool. And then the finally here, the Defiled Storage Chest of the Hair, an incredible rare drop which provides superior storage capacity and an intriguing corruption visual effect for the player's home, limited to one per player. So that's pretty cool. Now that is of course the mythic drop that they were talking about yesterday. They've given us a bit more information on what that actually is. And they do say that it has a superior storage capacity. So it's probably going to be joint best or even better than the current best in the game right now. And of course the intriguing corruption visual effect. I think that will look pretty cool. So I can't wait to first see one of those. And of course try and get my hands on one of those. And they are limited to one per player. So do bear that in mind if you do get the drop. I don't know if they're going to be buying on pickup. I would assume so if they're limited. But if they're not, bear in mind if you do sell it. You can't get another one. So it is one per player. Now earthly hidden stashes will be temporarily on hiatus. While the corrupted rabbit seasons are in. But they will return once the event concludes. So essentially the diamond gypsum and the event side of stuff moves to this during the easter period which is pretty cool now we've also seen some quest changes here basically the disabled previous versions of the saboteur and master of the tempest quests to allow completion of the new solo alternative players that have the old quest versions pending in their journal will have to re-obtain the associated expedition quest but will now be able to take at the alternative objective if desired which is pretty cool so solo alternative to those new quests there if you do want to do so now a couple of changes to the tempest heart expedition as well they fixed several spots in both isabella and neshatam's boss arenas where players could intentionally stand or go prone to avoid aggro or attacks in other words the cheese strategy that you guys have all been telling me about in the comments and such you can no longer do that once this has gone live so unlucky but we're gonna have to actually do the boss fights now whether it was a time saver or you couldn't do the fight either way you now have to so good luck with that to everybody now also they have fixed an issue when the Shatim could become unresponsive during his encounter. Now he at least should be on his top form. And finally they have added additional measures to prevent the players from re-entering a blocked off encountered arena. There was some instances again where you could cheese back into the fights to help your team out which of course should not be the case. Be interesting to see whether they've fixed the healing in the end boss fight versus Isabella. But again I'm not going to go into details of that because they could still be working on it. Now here we've also seen finally some changes to the exploration side of things and what they've done here is fixed an issue that caused high level elemental plants from dropping correct resources 
resources running gathered so essentially you could get your rare drops and stuff much better from the high level plants now now other than that that's pretty much it for the stuff that they've just said they wish you luck in your quest for the mythical defiled storage chest of the hair which is of course the brand new drop from this easter event i'm really looking forward to it as soon as this goes up i'm going to try and get hands on with it work out where these rabbits are actually spawning whether they're just going to be all over this looks like windsward or everfall so maybe they're going to be map wide if you're going to need three of them at least per day for your gypsum i would assume they're going to be fairly frequently spawning i'm not sure if there's going to be set locations or only at certain places or whether they're going to be particularly hard to kill if they're just going to be regular rabbits but just corrupted or whether they're going to be a giant like the turculon we're still not sure from the picture it would assume it looks like they are the regular rabbit size but maybe they've got attacks that they can do or they've got buffed health i don't entirely no but as soon as i can get hands on with that i'm going to cover it work it out for you guys and bring you all a video on how you can make the most of this event so that should be live tomorrow if this event does go live at the correct time so make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on that or any other future content because i'm going to be covering everything to do with new world here on the channel as always and please do drop me a like on today's video if you found this update a useful thing for me to cover here on the channel other than that that is going to be it for today so as always thank you for your time thank you for watching and i will catch you again very very shortly on a brand new upload take care guys and peace